Whitney, the icon, she was, I, we kind of watched her rise to fame. She was so beautiful. She was effervescent, this incredible voice. I was a fangirl. You know, we felt we we owned a piece of her. We felt we knew her. You mm -hmm. know, we were all up in her business, even though we didn't know her. Mm -hmm. But then 10 years later, as a writer, in the beginning of my writing career, I got to meet her and I got to know her because I wrote two screenplays for her. And in my first meeting with Whitney, all of a sudden there was a woman and it was there was a woman sitting in front of me who had obviously was bearing a very heavy burden um, and who was tired conspicuously tired and yet was silly would kind of laugh at herself that was really interesting and in that same meeting her father cornered me and started to pitch me things about the brand he would talk about the brand and um i found that really uncomfortable and interesting so i really wanted to speak to what the public persona is and the image and how, who that person is and who that was as Whitney and Nippy, like the woman that was tired and that was supporting her whole family and her whole family was her business and supporting the troops and, and supporting the country and America's sweetheart and all of the things that she had to be to everybody that weighs on you. And I think, I do think it's universal. I think it's specifically true of black women. We had to hold our families together, you know, hold our, our, our workplace together often, <laughs> you know, um, and everybody's relying on us and we have to be everything to everybody. And I, I um, you know, that was important to me.